Hey YouTube, Devin here with Comics and Stuff. Welcome back. Happy Friday. Happy May. It is the beginning of May. Uh, hey, how about that Avengers premiere last week? Ho, ho, ho. Don't worry, I'm not going to talk about spoilers, but that was some ish. I mean, I so I went and caught the midnight premiere, uh, watched it until about 3 in the morning, and I was exhausted for work the next day, but that movie was insane. It was, me personally, it was everything I expected. Um, I had a lot of people who were angry that death wasn't a part of it, but she, uh, you know, as a character, but that didn't surprise me because there had been no hint of death over the last 10 years of Marvel movies, so I'm not even counting that as a spoiler, but, um, I mean, I loved it. It was everything I wanted it to be. It was everything I expected. It was, it was everything. It was awesome. I, I, it was a great time. I'm going to go see it again. It was great. Now, <clears throat> moving on. I haven't done one of these videos in a while. Um, I'm going to try to be more consistent and try to post one of these once a month. Um, but this is, and welcome to, a brief history of Fox Feature Syndicate. Um, I'm going to move my notes, which are on my laptop, just below the camera here so it doesn't look like I'm constantly looking off camera. There we go. So Fox Feature Syndicate, they are known for a variety of things. Um, let's let's just kind of start with the general rundown. Um, again, this is my disclaimer for every single one of these videos that I do. Uh, this does not encompass the entire history of the company that I am reviewing, or not reviewing, I guess, explaining. Um, this is just quids and bits of time per decade, little in important things. Um, but it does not by any means mean that I am covering the entirety. It's a, it's a brief history. Of Fox Feature, Feature Syndicate. So, it was opened by Victor Fox and uh, Bob Farrell in 1939. Uh, their first title was called Wonder Comics Number no. One, and their uh, headline character was Wonder Man, which was created by Will Eisner. Wonder Man um, is a very popular character. He also made his way into the Marvel Universe at some point, uh, a little while after Fox's dissolving, I guess, but that'll come later in the video. Um, so yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, Will Eisner as well, uh, even though he created Wonder Man, he's most well known for his creation of the character The Spirit. The Spirit is probably one of the most popular comic book characters uh, in, in history. I mean, nowadays there's so much competition, but back in the day, I mean, he was, The Spirit was like... And there's a spirit movie that had Samuel L. Jackson in it. But anyways, I digress. Uh, 1939, National Periodic Publications, otherwise known as DC, uh, sued Fox Publications for Wonder Man, uh, claiming that he was an illegal copy of Superman. Uh, 1939, um, I'm sorry, after the trial, uh, Eisner left Fox and uh, Joe Simon as well. Yes, that Joe Simon were hired uh, or was hired as uh, Fox's publication editor. So Will Eisner out, Joe Simon in. Um, and then being one of the first companies in the comic book industry since it opened in 1939, uh, they roped in a lot of the Golden Age greats that we, we know. So they, they brought in names like Lou Fine, Matt Baker, Jack Kirby, and then like I just said, Joe Simon. So, I mean, those are some really big names. Uh, in the 1940s, uh, Fox acquired the character The Phantom Lady from Quality Comics, and they used Matt Baker who uh, to revamp the character. So if you guys watched uh, my last video about good girl art, you guys will know that Matt Baker was um, one of the most legendary good girl artists or good girl art artists in the industry, and especially his art with his character The Phantom Lady. Extremely scarce, very, very rare, hard to find, and expensive, and very coveted amongst people who collect good girl art. Um, so yeah, when he revamped the Phantom Lady, I mean, she became totally iconic. Um, 1940, Jack Kirby was also uh, brought in to write and illustrate for the first Blue Beetle. Uh, Blue Beetle became so popular that Fox uh, hosted a Blue Beetle Day at the 1940s World Fair. Just saying, it's kind of cool. Uh, moving on to 1950, so this is actually the end. I mean, this was a really short video, I know. It's like four minutes long and it was only three minutes of content. But Fox is well known, uh, well, while they were well known for their superhero books, um, they actually ended up declining after the, I guess the, I guess after World War II, superheroes saw their decline um, because they, you know, people were coming back from the war and they were a more mature reader, so they wanted romance and things like that. Um, so they began, they began to actually focus more on crime and horror comics, um, but they ultimately went out of business after the Comics Code Authority. So they went from superheroes, which were doing well, but then everybody fell out of love with superheroes, and then they started doing crime and horror, and then the Comics Code Authority was established, and they just lost all their business anyways. So that sucked. Um, but before going out of business, Fox sold the rights to Charlton Comics, and eventually Charlton Comics sold the rights to Blue... Or, sorry, Fox sold the rights to Blue Beetle to Charlton Comics, and then Charlton Comics eventually sold those rights to DC Comics, and now we have the Blue Beetle that we know today. 
Now that was a brief four minute and 10 second ish history of Fox Feature Syndicate. I do thank you guys for watching these videos. I hope you enjoyed this. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, support the Red Bubble. I mean, I've only had a few purchases, but please guys, I mean, you know, if you wanna see a certain shirt or something, I mean, go on there, let me know what you want to see. Um, it helps support the channel a lot whenever anybody makes a purchase off the Red Bubble channel or uh, page, I'll put a link to that in below. Uh, and then yeah, follow on Instagram, like on Facebook and uh, all that stuff. And I will see y'all next week.